Ramadan was a traditional month of retreat. And it was one night towards the end of Ramadan, in his 40th year, when Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, was alone in the cave. Then came to him an angel in the form of a man. The angel said to him, Recite. And he said, I am not a reciter. Whereupon, as he himself has told it, the angel took me in his embrace until he had reached the limit of my endurance. Then he released me and said, Recite. I said, I am not a reciter. And again, he took me in his embrace. And again, when he had reached the limit of my endurance, he released me and said, Recite. And I said, I am not a reciter. Then, a third time, he took me as before, then released me and said, Recite, in the name of your Lord who created. He created man from a clot of blood. Recite, and your Lord is the most bountiful. He who taught by the pen, who taught man what he did not know. He recited these words after the angel, who thereupon left him, and he said, It was as though the words were written on my heart. But he feared that this might mean he had become a demon-inspired poet or a possessed man. So he fled from the cave. And when he was halfway down the slope of the mountain, he heard a voice from above saying, O Muhammad, you are the messenger of God, and I am Gabriel. He raised his eyes heavenward, and there was his visitor, still recognizable, but now clearly an angel, filling the whole horizon. And again he said, O Muhammad, you are the messenger of God, and I am Gabriel. The prophet stood, gazing at the angel. Then he turned away from him, but whichever way he looked, the angel was always there, extending across the horizon, whether it was north or to the west, east or to the south. Finally, the angel turned away, and the prophet descended the slope and went to his house. Cover me, cover me, he said to his wife, Khatija. As with still quaking heart, he laid himself on the couch, alarmed, yet not daring to question him. She quickly brought a cloak and spread it over him. But when the intensity of his awe had decreased, he told her what he had seen and heard. And having spoken to him words of reassurance, she went to tell her cousin, Waraka, who was an Astorian priest. Holy, holy, he said, by him in whose hand is a soul of Waraka, that has come to Muhammad, the angel of revelation, Namas, the one who came to Moses. Verily, Muhammad is the prophet of this people. Bid him rest assured. So Khatija went home, repeated these words to the Prophet, who now returned in a peace of mind to the cave, so that he could fulfill the number of days he had dedicated to God. When this was completed, the Prophet Muhammad went straight to Kaaba and performed the rite of the rounds, after which he greeted the old and the blind Waraka whom he had noticed amongst those who were sitting in the mosque. And Waraka said to him, Tell me, O son of my brother, what have you seen and heard? The prophet told him, and the old man said, again, what he had said to Khatija. But this time he added, You will be called a liar and ill-treated, and they will cast you out and make war upon you. And if I live to see that day, God knows that I will help you in his cause. Then he leaned towards him and kissed him on his forehead. The prophet then returned to his home 
now completely reassured.